Welcome to the Sports on Prime. I'm Gary Al Smith. We have some news from the Ghana Premier League and also some um, news on the Confederations Cup where we have the final two decided who will slug it out for glory in the coming days. First of all, Accra Great Olympics is a club that has seesawed from the Ghana Premier League to the Division One for the past eight seasons. They've gone up and down. And the fortunes of the club this season are also not very bright. If you check the league table, they are decidedly in the bottom half. And according to Talal Fatal, who is a majority shareholder, the club will sell some shares next season to revamp things and shake things up. What has happened has happened. I have to be hopeful. I have to live on hope. But I'm sure within my heart, just like last year we made it out of the Division One. We will stay this year in the Premier League. And next year, our plan is to, to, to actually sell some shares to potential investors from our existing shares and use the money to revamp the club of uh, International Industry Standard Football Club. But of course, we have to you know, uh, uh, climb this mountain of being uh, out of the relegation zone. I'm, I'm still hopeful, believe me. I was telling you about the World Mini Golf Cup that will be taking place in 2019, and we heard Talaf Atal speak about it a couple of days ago. Now, Ghana is likely to be accredited to host the event if the country successfully hosts the 2018 African Cup, which is still in the Mini Golf. Here's Talaf Atal, this time speaking in his capacity as the Secretary General of the African Mini Golf Federation. So this is an, an African call. Ghana is going to be the beacon for spreading mini golf in Africa. And all the activities being organized, including the formation of clubs, will be as an example for the whole of Africa to follow. Having said that, I want to announce that the World Mini Golf uh, uh, Federation have appointed and designated Ghana to host the first ever African Mini Golf Championships next year. First African Mini Golf Championship next year will be held in Accra in July 2018. And the World Mini Golf Federation have observed that Ghana will be fielding in the World Cup Adventure Masters in Croatia this year not less than three teams, maybe four teams. They're surprised. They're overwhelmed. They said even Germany and England are fielding two teams. How can Ghana for the first time come to Croatia and fill three teams? We are going to be on the map, on the world map, God willing, and I'm hoping that we'll go and come back with some awards whatsoever, because it's our first time being in international uh, competition. But the good news is that the World Mini Golf Federation have also told us if we do well and we organize the African Mini Golf Championship next year in Ghana, 2018, July. They will accredit us to hold the World Cup in Ghana in 2019. So it comes as no surprise, as music to my ears when I hear that Forbes is forming a club and their own mini golf course. Because at the end, we shall all share the courses, God willing, when these international events come to Ghana. And then the world will come to see that uh, uh, Africa is also joining the train of mini golf. Right, so that's the spot for now, but let's do the stories on my jaw line to finish up now. Um, Lionel Messi is getting married, and this is all you need to know about his wedding on Friday for those of you who are into that kind of thing, the other kind of sport. And uh, Germany have also beaten Mexico by four goals to one in their Confederations Cup. There's a report there. Let's also check uh, with the other stories if we could check as well the top story on the my jaw line site is the fifa banning samuel income now asante kotoko are going to settle david duncan you might recall that they asked him to step aside about a year ago to check um, as they didn't want him to be in charge and we had some problems with that but they are going to settle him and david duncan once again he wins remember he had a similar problem with heart it took about two years but he won in court. He's a hard guy. Now, um, about Ghana versus Mexico, uh, it's about 12 hours ago that the Black Stars were beaten by Mexico. Mexico's team A were beaten by Germany 4-1.
just about 30 minutes ago. So let's go to Mexico City now to get an idea of whether the Mexicans also felt that it was their team B that was playing the Black Stars. On the line joining us is Oscar Rojas Camacho, who is the editor for Live Soccer TV. We appreciate your time. How are you, Gary? Nice I'm doing well, thank you. It's been a challenge getting you, but finally we have. So tell us briefly, a lot of people here feel that Mexico's team B played Ghana um, earlier this morning. Is that true? Well, it is and uh, it isn't. Um, Mexico's, uh, Mexico had to, to divide their, their best players so they could play in their Confederation Cup and in the Gold Cup um, because um, CONCACAF demands Mexico to present a, a competitive team in their tournament. And um, let me just say that um, CONCACAF is the only region in the world that hosts um, two, um, two tournaments to, to, do, to determine their champion. And in, um, let's, let's say uh, from the World Cup in uh, 2014 to the to World Cup next year, yeah. CONCACAF is the, only, is the only region in the world to hold two tournaments to determine yeah. the champion. That complicates things for, for Mexico, for the United States, for Costa Rica, and um, that's why Mexico um, fielded a, a B team uh, against Ghana yesterday. There are, there are some players, like uh, Jesus Corona, or maybe uh, other players that got injured in the process, like Alan Pulido, who are included in the team that beat uh, Ghana yesterday. But uh, there's a reason why they didn't play in the, in the FIFA Confederation Cup. Yeah. And, um, and even though it's... Uh, it's uh, it's a strong team, the one that, that played against uh, Ghana yesterday. It's not the team that that, um, that has the best chances of, of beating the other top caliber teams. Uh, the one that, that has Chicharito, the one that has uh, Hector Herrera, or maybe Guillermo Ochoa, the ones that played against Germany today. Um, Oscar, now, yes. basically, you've explained that the team Ghana played is not exactly a team B but a division of the best players of Mexico, some of whom went to Russia for the Confederations Cup, and some of whom stayed behind to get ready for the Gold Cup, right? Yes. Yeah. Good. So now that is out of the way, just about 30 minutes ago, the Mexican national team was beaten and thrashed by Germany by four goals to one in the Confederations Cup. So you have to play the third place match with Portugal. Do you think Mexico has been lucky so far in the Confed Cup? Looking at the group stages. Mm, yes, I have to say so. Um, Mexico is the only team uh, in history to come back from three uh, from three games. They started they started losing. They started losing against Portugal, against New Zealand, and against uh, Russia in the group stage. And they bounced back to, to win those games or even or draw against Portugal. Um, there's there's a sense here in Mexico that um, Coach uh, Juan Carlos Osorio is not doing a good job. Because uh, he likes to rotate his, uh, his squad, and he, he, he makes up to eight changes uh, from, from match to match. And that, that doesn't give you a continuity in, in, a, in a starting 11. That hurts Mexico. That, that, uh, that doesn't help uh, to, the, to, the, to the team's process of, build, uh, of building a team. And yeah. uh, I, yes, I think they were, they were extremely lucky to, to make it to the, to the metal stage. And uh, to be honest, uh, it seems like Germany, uh, after the first uh, 10 minutes when they scored uh, two goals, uh, it seems like um, Germany laid back a little bit and, and let Mexico handle the ball and even got, got close to, to scoring. But uh, when it, it gives the, the feeling that when Mexico, I mean, when Germany tried to try a bit harder, they, they scored whenever they wanted. So, okay. yes, Mexico was, was extremely lucky today. Excellent. Uh, many, many thanks, Oscar Rojas Camacho. He's the editor of Live Soccer TV, and he's based in Mexico City. Essentially, what he said was that, unlike what many people have been intimating here in Ghana, they didn't think that the team that beat the Black Stars in the wee hours of this morning was a Team B. It was actually a very strong alternative side of the Mexicans. You heard it from the horse's own mouth. So that's the sport for now. Head over to myjoonline.com for more sport content. The match reports of Germany 4, Mexico 1, and more. I'll be back tomorrow with more sport.